On this adventure with Look Mew, there is a shark next to our dinghy. We're going to jump in, play with him. 180 nautical miles to go, and it is a beautiful evening. Unbelievably glassy today and pretty bloody hot with no wind at all. It's uh, really pretty warm up here. But we're going to utilize this um, dead calm weather to head south before the big strong winds come. So we'll leave the tomorrow morning around 4 a.m. is the current plan. In the meantime, we're going to enjoy this. Having come this far and being so incredibly remote, we just have to utilize every second we can to get in the water. I thought we had a no videoing in the, in the suits rule, Jamie. Uh, we're gonna go up past the channel and have a look and see if there's any snorkely, reefy stuff, technical terms. Uh, on the other side, because that's where we saw the Mike Ball, Mike Ball Spoil Sport camp for a bit. Um, oh, let's go for a snorkel. There is a shark right here next to our dinghy. So we're going to jump in and play with him. No, there's two sharks. There's three, there's another one over here. They're roaming in packs. Take a dip in the ocean, spend the day in the sunlight. Go back to our old ways, cause his ears they are catching up. And there's so little time, and I don't see how we can waste any minute of it. Sweet little snorkel, pretty clear, heaps of sharks, quite friendly, which we like. Moray eel, lots of bommies, it was nice. Very uh, serene, because there's no sound of any wind or wave or anything, it's just absolutely dead still. It's nice, nice afternoon for it. Way off in the distance, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a customs aircraft. And we can see them on AIS doing 210 knots. They've just circled around us. Not sure whether or not they'll call us on VHF, but pretty cool to see. We're on Adam and Rachel's boat, and have a look at that. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Morning. It's a beautiful day out here, Osprey Reef. Um, now we've come out because it was meant to be beautiful weather, but what is meant to be and what actually happens doesn't normally tie up quite as well as it has today. Gorgeous. 
Uh, so yesterday we did a snorkel and then went and drove through what they call the False Passage. Uh, today we're going to take the big boat uh, and go to the top which is North Horn. Um, it's about six nautical miles from here so it's not really a dive site you can get to with the dinghy. It is meant to be really famous for lots of sharks including hammerheads, um, bull sharks, whalers, etc, etc. Uh, so we're pretty excited about it. So we're just having a coffee, just waiting for our friends Rachel and Adam on Lady Annabelle to come over with their dive gear and then we will head off. Well, we've just picked up this mooring and now floating around the boat are these adorable looking squid. They're just gorgeous. We're going to get up at four, but I woke up early, so we're up. And Jamie wants to go early anyway. So, uh, and we are leaving Osprey, there's no wind, um, and we need to go south, so we thought we'd take the opportunity to get as far south as we could on our way back to Cairns while there was no wind. So we're going to up anchor, drive out of Osprey, following our track, head on south, see how we, uh, how far we get before we uh, start meeting some wind that's going the wrong direction. And then we'll turn and head into Cairns, hopefully all in one trip. There's no water coming out of the port engine. So, it's 3 a.m. and I'm gonna have to get into the engine bay, I think, because we're not going anywhere unless that engine's working. Well, Denise diagnosed this perfectly. She said, uh, is the V-belt not gripping at all, the uh, salt water pump V-belt? And so I've got in the engine bay, we've started the engine, and sure enough, uh, it's, it's completely slipping. So it needs adjustment. So, well done, darling. 
and I think I can adjust it sufficiently to get us back underway. So I'll make this quick adjustment and hopefully in a couple of minutes time, we'll run the engine and be good to go. Try to save the engine. Well, it may not be as enjoyable as having a coffee, but fixing an engine at three o'clock in the morning, is it three o'clock, is it two o'clock, what is it? 3.30. 3.30? Uh, just as effective at waking you up, I must say. I prefer the coffee though. We are nicely underway now. Uh, we're outside of Osprey Reef. We've got 180 nautical miles to go. We'll start off by heading due south. And it is a beautiful evening. Stars are out, there is not a single cloud, and the sea is, is as calm as it basically ever gets. I'm gonna have a coffee now, then. Oh, are you? I am. It's not Do even 4 a.m. No, Shit. you are one, yeah. No way. Java, Java, Java. One of the nicest things about night passages Take is watching the sunrise. It's amazing finding these birds flying hundreds of kilometres from land. He's tired, Jay. Hey, buddy. You had a good day. He's trying to find his sea leg. You're okay. You're okay. Turn off my portable book for a minute. Just going to top up the uh, fuel tanks. Another 20 litres per side should give us enough fuel to get um, to get back. I'm just using the jiggler to decant the fuel into the tank. Once the fuel starts siphoning, it only takes a couple of minutes to decant the 20 litres. Our little 30 horsepower engines are remarkably efficient. This 20 litres will get us an extra 54 nautical miles, which is 100 kilometres or 62 US miles. The whole day has been pretty good, I know. We're meant to be sailors, but there is something a bit magical about driving a boat on glassy seas in the middle of nowhere with not another boat seen all day in 30 degree weather. Maybe we should have bought a power boat instead of a sailboat. You can see where the birds have landed. They've very kindly left us a small gift. Absolutely stunning. Even though we're running the engines, I'd much rather be running the engines in dead calm water than absolutely bashing into it, having it on the nose at 20 plus knots. This is the sort of cruising we like. Look at that, absolutely stunning. And the water is deep blue and just silky.
on the next adventure with Look Amu, we install DC to DC chargers. But not all repairs go to so plan. Fill all the beans through the entire machine. It's all true. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends.